What's going on everybody? It's Adonis with Absolutely Tech and today we're going to be going over the new Mortal Kombat X game on iOS. So Mortal Kombat is a huge franchise from the early 90s and has been, you know, reiterating itself over the years and now they have brought it to the iPhone. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go over what that game looks like on iOS uh, from a non-gamer perspective. I'm not a gamer, I don't claim to be. I enjoy them, but I'm not very good at them. So we're gonna take a look at what that looks like on the iPhone, and then I want you guys to kind of give me your thoughts on the game. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, so we're gonna jump into Mortal Kombat here. Now I'm gonna kind of go over some of the basic stuff as far as the interface. And then from there, we'll just go into some of the gameplay so you guys can get an idea. That's me. Hello. All right. So this is just like a daily thing that pops up. Here a couple of things. Sweet, so I got a character. Pretty cool. And I can decide to fuse this character if I want. I'm gonna do that. Sweet. So all that means is I had a I had that character before and I got another version of that character. And because I have two of those players' cards, I can fuse them. And I'll show you a little bit more about that a little later as far as these fuse characters. It's really simple, but um, it does add a little bit more strength to your character. I just not really a fan of it personally. Continue. So these are the modes that we have right now. We have Battle Mode, Fraction Wars, and Raiden Challenge. Obviously these two are coming soon. Let's go to Menu though, so you can kind of see what's going on there. Main Menu, Profile, Collection, Bonus Missions, which change daily. So if I select that, you can see what I mean. So these are the missions for the day. I have 2 hours and 55 minutes to select one to do. We're going to go back to Main Menu. Hit Menu again. You have collections. If I go to collection, it shows the characters that I actually have. Um, and it gives you kind of like stats. They're like playing cards. So if I hit Reptile, he's like my favorite that I'm using right now, at least that I have collected so far. Kind of get an idea what that looks like. So this is his mini stats. Go back. And then these things are his special moves. So Acid Puke, Crawl, Crawl Pounce, um, Claw Pounce, sorry about that. And then you have equipment that you can equip towards your character as well. So like they're like little special things you can add to them. I don't really have a ton of stuff, but if you um, purchase them or gain them through certain challenges, you can add them to your character for little power boosts and things like that. Now you can buy characters, um, so if I go to store, I can go to packs, they have like card packs and stuff. I go to characters and I can buy characters. And you can see that there's different color types of characters. So these are bronze, silver, and we keep scrolling and then we'll have some uh, gold characters as well. Now a lot of these characters um, are in each color category as well. Um, it's just the power difference between them and you'll see they all start at level one in their respective color category so gold one um, Reptile is stronger than um, Silver level one reptile so if I go to silver level one reptile where is he at? He's stronger than that level reptile and he's more uh, he's less expensive obviously now I Don't really pay for the characters that's not my thing. I'm just kind of like playing the game and getting them through the game. Some people will buy characters, obviously, so that is for them if they would like to do so. Um, and if you want to buy coins to, for that, you would buy them here. And you have souls, which are those little green um, circles up here. They're like coins. Then you have the regular coins, which are the gold coins. And you have these 300. I don't know what that is, to be honest. I haven't really seen much of those, so... All right, so what we're gonna do, let's go back. We're gonna go to battle mode. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna load up the battle mode. So it's kind of a story mode, kind of. It's weird. It's not really a story, let's turn this down. 
it's like kind of a story, but not really. There's no story to it, but you fight certain like bosses at the end of like each section. So like this would be like a boss. This would be a boss. You could tell by the tower type. The towers are different. Um, now with that, those are the levels where you can actually do your finish him move, like your finishing moves, um, from what I've seen anyways. And the gold characters will do those x-ray um, hits and moves that you get on the console games as well. Um, but the characters that I have don't have those abilities. So yeah. So I want to show you what this looks like as far as gameplay goes. Now it is tap based. So what that means is the characters are in motion already and you tap to punch uh, with one finger. Two fingers is block. Um, and then you have like these little special moves that you can press instead of doing like your special move on a D-pad. It's a little special move button after you've built so much points as you're fighting. You'll see what I mean. Now I'm probably going to get slaughtered trying to play and also film this video, but I just want to show this for um, video purposes. We're going to fight. It's loading. Now keep in mind, this is a fairly high power game. I haven't checked to see if it uses the metal... Um, API for the iPhone. Um, however, the phone does get fairly warm when I'm playing the game. I've noticed that quite a bit. Um, and also, keep in mind, I am playing with my brightness pretty pretty high. And you can see I'm getting destroyed right now. And if I do this, I can select Acid Puke and it attacks him. And it's all team battles. So you have like three people on each team. So you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. Some of these characters' moves are really sick. Like they're really, really powerful. So you see some of these little special moves that you have. Um, they vary from each character. Some are stronger than others, obviously, depending on the character and um, whatever boosts that they have as far as those uh, those power-ups that we were talking about. Ah, I messed that up pretty bad. Damn it. Like, this move is not that strong if I go all the way up. It's like not strong at all and that's his level two move um but if i do like his level one move his level one move is is stronger but it's not that strong see so you kind of get the idea though and it will vary like her some of her moves are super sick so you kind of get the idea of how the gameplay is um keep in mind i'm not the best person to show how a game is supposed to be played as far as skill level goes, but at least you kind of get an idea of the interface and what the game is like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I actually have a question though for you guys. Do you think it's good for these console games to come towards mobile platforms? Do you think it's something that work well on mobile platforms or do you think they should just stay on the consoles or in PCs? Let me know down below what you guys think. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Till next time guys. See you later.